the crank and cam sensor fall within a category of sensors called speed sensors. This type of uh, speed position sensor is actually tested depending on the actual build of the sensor. In this particular case, we are testing a magnetic sensor which is always composed of two leads, uh, the actual ground and the signal lead. This sensor actually produces its own energy and is simply tested using a uh, voltometer, a uh, graphing multimeter or an oscilloscope. And uh, you simply probe across it and you determine the actual signal output uh, such as amplitude and frequency. The actual testing of these sensor involves testing for actual signal output as well as any possible bias voltage output it by the actual ECM or module to which this sensor is connected to. Cam and crank sensors produce a varying AC output with the actual uh, amplitude varying uh, according to the speed of the reluctor. The faster the reluctor, the higher the actual amplitude. This is another example of the principle of induction in which uh, a current is induced inside the sensor by the actual reluctor. Uh, the actual testing of the uh, bias voltage produced by the actual module to which the sensor is connected to it's tested with the sensor disconnected the bias voltage is uh, nothing more than a uh, voltage uh, very low current voltage between 3 and 7 volts that the actual uh, module outputs through the actual uh, signal line uh, in order to determine uh, uh, if there are any shorts or open circuits again uh, the reluctor is the one that uh, actually induces the actual uh, magnetic field or current uh, into the uh, actual uh, magnetic sensor itself. The gap between the actual reluctor and the sensor is very, very important uh, when it comes to magnetic sensors. Uh, the gap is also important when it comes to uh, Hall effect sensors, but however, uh, this gap will determine the actual amplitude of the signal uh, that's produced. If the amplitude is too low, it would not be the signal will not be uh, recognized by the actual module to which the sensor is attached to. Again, uh, the faster the reluctor speed, uh, the actual the higher the actual amplitude of the sensor uh, it's going to be. And of course, the the faster the reluctor speed, uh, the higher the frequency as well. Uh, Hall effect sensors on the other side are three lead sensors, and uh, you test them by simply uh, probing between ground and the 12 volt uh, lead that feeds the sensor's uh, internal transistor. Uh, an internal transistor is actually uh, provided uh, inside the actual sensor itself, which uh, is the one that actually does the toggling of the signal line. The three uh, basic steps uh, for testing the sensor is by testing the uh, 12 volt feed line, uh, then testing the actual sensor ground, and uh, Finally, testing the actual signal output. Uh, remember that these type of uh, Hall effect sensors uh, always produce a square wave output, uh, which has a specific set amplitude and a varying frequency. By simply uh, probing between uh, chassis ground and the 12 volt line, you can immediately ascertain uh, whether you have a viable 12 volt power supply uh, signal or actually uh, voltage supply going into the actual sensor. The sensor also needs a stable and uh, reliable ground and by simply probing between voltage supply line or battery uh, positive and the actual sensor ground you can immediately determine whether you actually have a viable ground uh, to the sensor. Uh, and finally uh, the uh, last step is to actually uh, test for the actual signal. Uh, remember that these uh, Hall effect sensors produce a, a square wave output. Uh, the square wave output it's not affected uh, uh, as far as the amplitude is not affected by the speed of the reluctor. The speed of the uh, reluctor will simply uh, toggle on and off uh, uh, or make the sensor uh, actual internal uh, uh, transistor toggle the signal uh, reference voltage or toggle on and off. Uh, this is how these uh, uh, sensors actually uh, w uh, do their, actually, uh, their actual signaling. They simply toggle the reference voltage uh, outputted by the actual computer uh, through the signal line, uh, they toggle that signal to ground uh, and uh, hence you actually see a square wave output.